Let us now explore the concept of rule of law. An inherent doctrine that flows from the scheme etched out by our constitution is the concept of rule of law. Though legal scholars argue back and forth about what precisely constitutes the rule of law, in simple terms, one may refer to it as the governance by law. Renowned legal scholar A.B. Dicey defines it as a legal policy composed of three elements. One, absence of arbitrary power. Two, equality before law. And three, individual liberties. Let us closely explore what each of these facets means. The first one, absence of arbitrary power. In simple terms, it means that no person is above the law. As a corollary, it also means that no person can be punished for anything that is not unlawful. Dicey believed that in a system that is not bound by rule of law, there exists the possibility of arbitrariness in exercise of power. In several cases, the Supreme Court has held that the absence of arbitrary power is inherent to Article 14 of our Constitution, which stands for equality before law. The second facet of rule of law, as a result, flows flawlessly from the first facet, equality before law. The Constitution of India guarantees equality before law. It also guarantees equal protection of law to every individual in the country, irrespective of their gender, caste, creed or other personal differences. The final facet of rule of law is the presence of individual liberties. Individual liberties are guaranteed by our constitution. Our judiciary is also vested with significant powers to scrutinize the actions of the state and uphold the sanctity of individual liberty. Music